Hey, I'm here. Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Saya. Today's English topic is storytelling. Home sweet home. It was a beautiful afternoon. The gorgeous sun was busy smiling down at us. After returning home from school, my siblings and I decided to go for a car ride. So after having our lunch, we dressed up in matching outfits, applied sunblock on our skin, filled up our own water bottles with icy cold drinks, and head down to the car park. As our aunt had just bought a brand new shiny red car, she took us for the ride. The smell of the car was fresh, and the car's aircon was amazingly cool. It was a pleasant journey for us because my aunt's driving was fantastic, fast, and safe, not furious. All of us in the car were humming to the songs that was playing. We were wearing our aviator sunglasses to protect our eyes from the light beaming through the car window. As we were traveling, the tall trees were bowing down at us from both sides of the road. My aunt drove us to our destination. It was a huge surprise. We were caught unaware. And we were speechless when we finally saw where our car stopped. It was a pet farm. It was the largest pet farm in the country. There were many pet shops with thousands of pets for sale. There were many types of animals for sale, and all of them are newborns. When we started looking from shop to shop. All we saw were golden retriever, Shiba Inu, Jack Russell puppies. The different pet shops were selling them at different prices. The golden retriever puppies were very chubby, and had huge paws at a young age. They were almost asleep. The Shiba Inu puppies were short and fat. They had very big eyes. The Jack Russell. Puppies were jumping up and down whenever someone walks past. One of the tiny puppy that I saw followed me wherever I walked. It wasn't for sale, the shopkeeper told. There was a very posh-looking boutique-like pet shop at the corner of the pet park. We were eager to enter to see what that shop had. To our surprise, we saw glass cages with open tops. In them were all Japanese Spitz puppies. The caretaker of the shop was friendly lady. She was a tall lady in her late thirties. She introduced us to all the puppies. My auntie suddenly announced that she will pay for a puppy that I choose as my belated birthday present. I was dumbfounded. I quickly hugged my aunt and thanked her repeatedly. My aunt gave me a silly grin, like always. I told the caretaker I wanted a male puppy. She went to the cages and carried out four white, as pearl-looking, button-eyed, chubby spits in her arms. Those puppies were way more cuter than I thought. Of all the four puppies, the only one which was the tiniest wanted me to carry him. I was quite nervous to carry, as he was too soft like candy floss. The caretaker informed us that the four puppies were all brothers, and the one that I was carrying was the youngest of the litter. He was only two and a half months old. 
His weight was 1.6 kg only. I couldn't feel his weight as he was so light as a paper. I put him down on the floor and he ran to my feet and by my shoelaces. Suddenly, I called out the name, Yaya Master, and he was hopping on his hind legs like a circus clown. I was amazed to see his behavior. All of us immediately decided to buy him. We thanked the caretaker for her service and we walked back to our car. We managed to buy a leash, collar, bowl and a large packet of pet food for our baby Yaya Master. During our way back home, Yaya Master was sleeping in my arms. We couldn't wait to ride home as the caretaker told us that newborn puppies cannot be out in the open till he turns three months. Luckily, we reached home in time because the clouds were getting dark as we had suspected. Upon reaching home, we heard a loud thunder. We could see lightning striking. It is quite scary. We knew we had to set up Yaya's master's playpen immediately. So we put him in a box and started working on setting up his playpen. We prepared his feeding bottle, his bowl of kibbles and a blanket to keep him warm. Within minutes, we were all done with his playpen. We walked over to the box and looked in. Oh my god, Yaya Master is missing! We looked everywhere. We panicked like crazy. After a few minutes, we sat on the sofa. We saw something. What could it be? Hmm. Stay tuned for our next episode to know if we found Yaya Master. Thank you.